Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And, and I have a few things to say about uh, our good friend and punching new and journalist new punching bag Chelsea Manny also once or well, was formerly known as as Bradley Manny and part of it is to do with the fact that, um, well, just that. Chelsea, well, Bradley was once Chelsea. Uh, and I'm sure you're wondering why I hold the scepter in my hand. And, well, you'll find out in this video. Let's just put it out. Anyways. One being the fact that he was, you know, that he suddenly wanted this whole thing. Thing. Instantly. Which, you know, that's besides the point. The thing is, if I have any problem with it at all, is how the news or the journalists in our society have been framing the whole thing. You people have been, well, not you people, but the Today Show, well, other people like the Today Show, I've been framing Chelsea Manning as another, you know, mean, hateful whistleblower who has nothing better to do than get us all in trouble, get innocent, his, his military personnel killed at a whim, you know, um, <clears throat> there's people who are probably doing that in the first place, <clears throat> I'm not going to say whom, but you get the idea. <laughs> it's just dumb. That and then lastly, I kind of find it to be well, you know, the ironic thing is it's a pretty good cover up if he is doing it in this way. That yeah, now he can walk free as well. Chelsea. Even though if I was him, I'd change my change my last name as well. So, no, I don't think that's the case. I agree with... I sort of take the Young Turk stand. I just watched their thing about that, and I sort of agree with him. Huh. I think there's a strong possibility of him wanting to change his gender, because he truly is transgender. And I mean, he's always been this way. He just... He's just now... He wants to do it, considering a long time ago, we forget, and even now, we have not been supportive of the gay or transgender community, and lesser extent, maybe the bisexual community. I don't know. We have not been supportive of them till now. So, so frankly, yes, I think he should be allowed to change his gender. He should have been allowed before, but I think it's kind of suspicious that he waited until he was in jail. Which, yeah, I take that back. No, I don't even think that's suspicious. Because, like I said, 
he may have just been like, hey, I've always felt that way. Hey, yes, we know, why didn't you request a dress or something? Like, so what if he didn't request it? He wants. And he could have wanted it well after he got out of jail. Now that I wish he had done. He should have waited to move out. Because, yeah, him wanting to be a woman while he's in a male jail may have not been the best thoughtful idea. Sorry, Bradley. I, well, no, Chelsea. I don't want to call him that. I happen to know people who are like that, and I'm not going to say who it is, you probably know, but those who have been watching my channel for the longest time probably know already how I feel about lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community altogether. That I do support their rights, and I support his to get a trans, you know, get that surgery. I think he deserves it. But, I also don't think he deserves to be our society's punching bag. Okay? I don't think the media should be punching on this guy at all. Well, I don't think they should be picking on him. I don't even think you're supposed to know about it. I think it's like the least interesting, least... You know... Point of view I have ever heard. I mean, yeah, I would just give it to him that, yeah, yeah, well, Chelsea, man, this was a bad time. <laughs> but, at the same time, I kind of feel like, yeah, you know, you should be allowed to. He, he should be allowed to. He should be allowed to have his transgender. In fact, I don't even think I'm supposed to know about it. Now, people are upset by it because it's the federal money, which, <clears throat> We've been using that for years. A lot of people use the funding for that. Just like uh, abortions, just like anything else. They are using that money. That is why. <sighs> I think if anything, obvious thing here is we need to reinforce, I need to uh, fix health care. So maybe, maybe these people don't have to endure the abuse. with the pain of having to go through this. They shouldn't have to, they not have to. And I think Chelsea needs to be allowed to be Chelsea. Okay? And the government and the media at large should keep their hands out of it. I'm sorry to circumlocate this conversation, but that's my personal standpoint on it. <sighs> And I think I only explained two points. Maybe the last one should just be what I said. <laughs> Nobody cares. Actually, a lot of people seem to be in support of Chelsea Manning. Hey, you know, before and after the vaccine found out that he was found out he was Chelsea. Uh, she was Chelsea, or. He wanted to be Chelsea. Okay? Yeah. That's just how it is. Anyways, this is Evelyn O'Malley. Hi. Fading out.